It's a long question. So it won't take some time to read. I'm going to read this fully and then we'll start with this. Three friends A, B and C play a game in a pub. The rules are simple. Whenever there is a contest between any two of them, the one who has a higher percentage alcohol should pour 200 ml of his wine into the one having lower percentage alcohol. The game starts as a contest between A and B, then B and C, then C and A. Post this, the game continues the same cycle on and on. If a player has emptied all his alcohol, then the remaining two play the game with the same rules. If two players have the alcohol at the same percentage level, the younger one pours 200 ml of his alcohol into the elder one's glass. This is practically just a tiebreaker. All three of them start the game with 600 ml of wine. A's wine has 60% alcohol, B says 48% alcohol and C says 50% alcohol. They take 3 minutes to play one round of this game. D, a fourth friend, leaves the pub immediately after the game begins, returns after an hour and drinks wine from the person who has the highest alcohol percentage. What is the concentration of alcohol that D had? <sighs> it's a long question. But the, the idea is simple. So forget about what D should have, all of that. Let's do one step. Let's find out what happens when A plays with B. And then we'll build on that. A has 60% alcohol, B has 48% alcohol. A will take 200 ml and pour into B. B has 600 ml. And so A takes 200 ml and pours it into B. So the percentage alcohol will become 60% into 1 plus 48% into 3 by 4. Or B will now have 51% alcohol. He will have 800 ml of this. A will continue to have 60% alcohol and he'll have only 400 ml of this. I'm just computing this, doing the math, uh, mix in the ratio 1 is to 3. A will have to give to B because A has the higher percentage than B. Okay. Now let's go on to B versus C. Now B has 51% alcohol, C has 50% alcohol. From here, 200 ml goes here, this is already 600 ml. Mixing these two in the ratio 1 is to 3. So C will now have 50.25% alcohol. 1 is to 3, broken in the ratio 1 is to 3, will get 50.25%. C will now have 800 ml. Right? B has 600, A will have 400, C now has 800. A has 60%, B 51%, C has 50.25%. Now A and C will meet, A will give 200 ml to C and then A and B will meet and so on. Okay. Now obviously this is going to take some time, you have got to snap out of it and then see what is going to happen after here. When A and C meet, A will have more than C, so A will give to C, then A and B play, A will always still have more than higher percentage than B, then A will give to B, so A will go to 0. Think about it, A has 60%, he keeps on giving and then new mixtures get created. Never will a mixture get created that has more than 60%. So anytime A plays a game, A will keep giving away. So A will get completed. And then B and C keep playing. One person will have higher percentage than the second one. He will transfer. Then the new mixture will get created. Never will the, will the person having higher percentage keep shifting from B to C. What I mean is if B has higher percentage than C, say B has 53% and C has 50%, B will give to C. Then C will have a different percentage, but B will continue to have a higher percentage than C. Whenever you're giving from higher percentage to lower percentage, this goes up, but it will never catch up with the higher percentage. So B will keep on giving C and then till the final point is reached. Or what we can figure out from this straight away. At, at the end of it all, when this game ends, A will run out of wine straight away, alcohol straight away. B and C, one of the two will be the one who has all the alcohol. Now think about this. B or C will have all the alcohol. So finally, we started with A with 60% alcohol, B with 48% alcohol and C with 50% alcohol. Now they keep on mixing this. Finally, one person has all the alcohol. So in the end, the final percentage is nothing but 60 plus 48 plus 50 by 3. Find that value and then you're through. It seems like a very time consuming cost process with a number of steps involved. Very simple. 
we know that as far as this game is concerned alcohol keeps getting shifted from higher to lower higher to lower a will run out between b and c whoever is higher that person will run out eventually all 1800 will be with one person what percentage will that alcohol have 60 plus 48 plus 50 by 3 there is practically nothing to compute don't do this step by step rush to the final state finally one person will have all 1800 ml and concentration will be 60 plus 48 plus 50 by 3 find that value we are through wonderful question because it seems like an impossibly tough question but once you crack the idea i'm shifting from higher percentage to lower percentage this will go up but this can never catch up with this it will always be lesser so there are two people this person keeps giving higher percentage to lower percentage this will keep increasing and then it will finally run out it will never catch up with this or exceed this so finally one person is going to have all the alcohol all 1800 ml of it 60 plus 48 plus 50 by 3 percentage of it. Very simple question once we crack that idea.